Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about something we don't talk about very often, which is My Little Pony. Yeah. I mean, I used to love the original My Little Pony. Yeah, you weren't really a huge fan of Friendship is Magic. It was okay. And G3 was okay. It was like G3 was, like, I mean, Friendship is Magic was better than G3 for sure. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. But the original Pony is still, you know, the one I liked. And, you know, I just, I, I checked out many, many years ago. Well, you're really going to check out now because e every pony can be an activist. Uh, we're going to talk about the new iteration of My Little Pony. I got to give a hat tip to our friend Eric, who sent this over a couple of days ago. Hasbro has announced their, I guess it's a sequel to Friendship is Magic. Well, that, yeah, they, we knew it was coming, but now they just gave us some more information. Now now it's got a little more little more wokeness in it, a little more uh, activism in it, and it's not going over well with the bronies. It's not gonna, gonna go well with most people, because then they're flat out saying the whole point of the show is activism. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about that. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 174,000 subs. <laughs> Thank you for the support. This is coming from Equestria Daily, which is like ground zero for brony fandom. And they posted uh, what was actually on kids screen. They had a press release talking about the new My Little Pony. And uh, it is, is going to be a CGI series. I saw some of the stuff from it. It didn't look that great to begin with. Uh, it's apparently going to be a sequel to Friendship is Magic. But here's where it gets kind of kind of off the rails, right? Everybody's yeah. like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Sounds good so far, except for the CG part. But, you know, yeah, okay, it's friendship is magic. To summarize what's going on, according to Kids Scream, we can expect a continuation of uh, the world we saw in Pony Life and Friendship is Magic, drawing on nearly decade-long lore of, of G4. Why well, start from scratch? Okay, well, that's that not, makes okay. sense, yeah. That's fine. Because I hate what they do with Transformers. Or like every Transformers series, they reset the Yeah, and you spend thing. how much time resetting it all. Yeah, it's like, no, I don't care. With the movie, we started development that, and made the decision to expand the world of My Little Pony rather than starting from scratch with a total brand reinvention. Okay, sounds good. We found ourselves with this whole decade of storytelling and really rich lore, and it felt wrong to walk away from all that. Yes, it's bankable. Right. Friendship uh, is magic is bankable. Plus, people get mad if you walked away from all that. Understandable. Uh, so they said it takes place in the same world. But they're going to jump ahead in time to focus on a new generation of ponies in unexplored corners of Equestria. Oh, God. This creates opportunities to include nods to the property's previous iterations, both in upcoming content. Okay, synergy. If you're brand new to the franchise, I think it'll grab you and pull you in. <laughs> Existing fans are going to be picking out Easter eggs uh, for months to come. But here's the thing. Here's, here's the snag. Here's the snag. There's also some indication of the direction that Hasbro wants to take the series, wanting it to be more inclusive as well as providing some details about the main character, highlighting that they're an activist. One, they're ponies. Okay. Ponies are people too. Um, two, they kind of already were inclusive. They had characters that had all issues. different colors. All, not just that. We had like, you know, different characters like Derpy and stuff like that, you know, and stuff like that. So you they can't kind of talk about I don't care. I'm going to. But have they not learned anything from all the backlash of her stuff like She Ra and Thundercats Roar and all that? So they're, they're flat out just saying we're going to be activists. Yes. They're not saying, like, you know, we're going to try to promote some positive messages. Okay, people might have been okay with that. Inclusion, most people are okay with that, even though it was already inclusive. But they flat out say activism. There's a difference between inclusive <sighs> and activist. Activist means you're just going to go flat out over the effing top. Yes, they are. Yeah. My little activist. Uh, the introduction of new characters and a departure from designs featured in Friendship is Magic and Pony Life. That's a I mistake. thought they said they weren't going to change too much because they already had established. Same world, different look intended to shift the brand's focus to more modern themes like diversity and inclusion because you know my little pony never dealt with that before the movie's main character for example is an activist working to make the pony world a better place what i've learned about watching activists are um they have this thing these ideas in their heads that might not always even be accurate but it's because that's the way it's that, that they think it should be um, they want to speak for everybody else, even when the people they're representing it don't want them to don't agree with them. For one, they stereotype the hell out of things, as we saw with Shira and stuff like that. You know, it's this is not a good thing. It's just not. I am sorry, as a parent and as somebody who deals with this shit on Twitter, I do not want. Thank God my kids aren't going to watch this because I wouldn't want that shoved into my kids' shows too. They have enough shit to deal with, let alone the activism. Everybody go out there and be good activists. Yeah, that's what they're doing. But the thing is, is what happens is parents are tuning out, kids are tuning out, and what you're left with 
are a bunch of uh, screeching cartoon stands on Twitter. Young adults, teenagers and young adults watching shows that are supposed to be for kids, but the kids have tuned out. The parents have tuned right, out. Right, and then this is a property they do sell toys for. And yes. they, they bank on selling toys for. I don't think it's going to go the way they think it's going to go. Frick, I suddenly don't have a good feeling about this. We're going to read some of these comments. Uh, actually, our friend was like, I, I would not be surprised if they took the comments down. They left them up. There's almost a thousand of them. We're not going to read all 1,000. Mm -mm. um, yeah, I don't have a good feeling about this. Politics like diversity recently have been hand-in-hand -hand with bad writing and pandering for the sake yes. of it. Uh, the plot itself, while has nothing inherently wrong, has pre previous uh, shows and games doing the same thing and been ditched by a large amount of the fans time and time again. Not because of the message, but because the message has been put above the quality. Yes! That's what we've been saying! I could, it could be argued that friendship is magic, dealt with big issues it did deftly it, it did a good job and it, it did a good job with it and this is why the show became so like universally loved uh i think by a lot of people even outside of pony fandom because it actually was a decent show with good characters um at least for the first couple of seasons after that it came off the rails but there's a way to do it a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it yeah, and that's what they're saying, because it's not even about diversity and inclusion, which most people are okay with. The problem when it becomes is when it becomes all about that to the to the uh, exclusion of making sure that you know, the message is more important than anything. And that's when it runs into trouble. And that's what they're exactly going to have in this. They're leading with activism. You know what you're going to get. It's a platform. So let's here's what they're going to do. They're like, look. Friendship is Magic had a lot of goodwill, so we're not going to ditch that world because we want this audience, but we're going to commandeer it, and we're going to make sure we get uh, uh, woke politics into like it. Like She-Ra? Yeah. And Thundercats Roar? Yeah. And everything else they keep trying to bastardize from the 80s? Yeah. Like they, Ghostbusters, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah. It's, it, the list goes on and on and on. The reason they do it is they want, these activists want the biggest megaphone they can get, so they go to properties that have existing fan bases. Because they know that the companies that own them just want to just want to cash in and not have to do any work. But these companies have to realize you can't put activists in charge of these shows because their purpose is not to make you money. Their purpose is not to do what's best for the franchise and the fandom. Their purpose is to spout, get paid big bucks and waste your money spouting off their own personal politics. And right. if they burn My Little Pony down... They don't care. They don't They'll care. They'll just go the next one. They'll go the next one. Look what happened to Ghostbusters. Look what happened to She-Ra. Look what happened to Thundercat. Like, you're right. This, you can't... Stop it. Hasbro, you want to make money? You got smart with Star Wars and you turn your back on the sequel trilogy to make old school original trilogy characters again. Please tell me you're not this stupid. Thing is, I, I'm looking at Friendship Magic and I'm, I'm like, it already had these things in it. There's no reason to one, do another no. one, and two, make sure you know, you could have you could have even you could have even talked about the new show and not mentioned that the pony was an activist. You, you could have, just, you know, and if you hadn't mentioned that, people might not have been more open-minded to it. But as soon as you put that out there, that's what your thought is. One, you're telling us, if you're, you're, it's enough to your new story, new story in quotes, that you have to mention it in a press release. And you're using it as a marketing ploy that we already know what we're in for. And you're just turned a bunch of people off. Because of that, you're, clearly it's going to be about activism and not about a good show. Or you wouldn't have mentioned it specifically. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of people on here that are like diversity and inclusion basically is used as a, a blunt instrument against yes. anybody with any conservative leanings whatsoever. Not even just conservative leanings. If they don't, if you can be what they're saying they're defending, and then because you don't agree with them 100%, then, then they, they, they attack you too. So it's not even really about, you know, activism. It's not really about inclusion and diversity because you can actually be the diversity that they're saying they're rep that they want to defend, but because you don't agree with their defense of what, how they're doing it, you are, you are the enemy too. So at that point, it's only inclusion and diversity for people who agree with that yeah yeah and well, now we got we got the mod being like take your white supremacist bullshit somewhere else um but yeah i mean the comments are really split down the middle and so i'm like okay hasbro this is what's going to happen you had a whole bunch of yet yet adult males buying pony toys and guess what's going to happen they're not going to. Mm -mm. You're, if, it depends on how it's done. Now it could be, you know. But when I'm worried, that that's what they're leading with in their in their press release. If they just done it and not said that. Yeah. People would have been like, okay, because the, the first one was too. The French Rose Magic was very inclusive and diverse as well. Mm -hmm. No one would have thought anything of it. But the fact that they're actually leading with that in their in their press release is is what people are worried about. Yeah, they're they're basically talking about the the brand being refreshed. We want the Friendship is Magic audience. 
But we also want to as push... As long as you agree with the, their, their version of activism. Yeah. So we want diversity, inclusion, and activism. And we're already seeing in it in the comments. People are questioning it, and immediately they're told they're white supremacists. That doesn't make you a white supremacist. Oh, my God. <laughs> there aren't any white people in ponies. There That's right. People there ponies. aren't any people in ponies. Well, God. Meg, Megan in G1. But the, they got rid of her. They did. So And she was white, so she was problematic. She I mean, was... this, is a, this is the dumbest thing ever. Like, you're, they're talking about cartoon horses. Yeah. Uh, God, just, you know, I can already tell you now, if, if, if it's going to go the way, if they're leading with activism, they can take the show and shove it up their ass. But then they're going to blame on the istophobes and everybody else. Because if you don't like their idea, if they ruin everything about it and they make it unfun and they don't make, they, they put message over story and they make it shitty and preachy and people hate it, it's not going to be because they're, they misstepped. It's going to be because everybody is a racist, istophobe, whatever, so they can label you and not take any responsibility for the fact that they fucked it up. Sorry, Mom. Yeah, we've got uh, this guy saying the series is actually going to pander to older fans be completely based on fan fiction and real life politics. That I doubt it because I am an older fan. I am a G1 fan. I doubt, I'm, and I'm telling you, I have no desire to see this. Yeah. None. And the, people were even talking just the, the release in general. Like, like Friendship is Magic was kind of lightning in a bottle because Lauren Faust actually cared about My Little Pony and she made story first and then they made the toys. Right. This is like, they're already talking about their all their, their brand stuff they're going to do and their toy lines. They're cooking. They're going cooking crap and and uh, for healthy eating. So it's going to tell you how to eat So wait, right. so wait. It's diversity, inclusion, and you better eat you better eat healthy health and wellness stuff. Yeah, health and wellness. So that'd be like Band-Aids and crap. But they're, they're talking about all the product. All restaurants are Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not right. They're talking about all the product that's coming out with this and the diversity and inclusion, all the buzzwords. And people are like, yeah, that right there is a huge red flag that this show is, is going to be product. It's going to be, uh, you know, catered to modern day sensibilities and it's probably going to be dog I don't shit. say modern day sensibilities. I think Twitter modern sensibilities. Day. Twitter sensibilities. When they say modern day sensibilities, they mean Twitter. There you go. They, that's all they mean. Yeah, seriously. They just mean effing Twitter is what they mean. Meanwhile, most of the people that are fans of it, a lot of kids don't know about the stuff that are on Twitter. And the thing is, they're trying to just keep pushing this shit onto everyone and make, you know, obedient little activists that they could just, you know, march out. And, and think for yourself, people. And just because you make, put activism in doesn't make it good. You have to put the story first. It might be good, but it, I'm worried because they're leading with that and not leading with new show, new story. Yeah. Yeah, you're not hearing much about story other than activism, diversity, and inclusion. So that's always a red flag. Are we going to wrap this one up? Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.